Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of my time at Portia. I'm filming this and editing because the last video, uh, which was supposed, I was only going to do four Portia videos, but the last one, the fourth one was just becoming way too long. Uh, so at some point I, I decided I needed to cut the video a little bit. Um, so I'm like waiting for Lucy's party right now. So... Uh, yeah, so this is an episode where I think, I don't know where I'm going to be cutting it yet, but it will probably be more of Higgins and probably Lucy's birthday will be in there. And I'm hoping to finally get to Higgins' big friendship mission. So enjoy. All right, so I was just running around town. Tonight will be the fireside for Huss and Tuss. I am caught in a let wall and look who I saw. Nice to be back for a visit. I've been so busy lately. It's nice to finally relax a little. Molly. Molly is back. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. I said she comes back at a certain point. It took a really long time. It was longer than I remember, I have to say. But anyway, so the next time I will cut in will be um for the fireside tonight, which unfortunately I had to sit around all day waiting for. I've been making a habit of like going to bed at like 9 a.m. I literally wake up, do a commission and go to sleep. <laughs> so I've been doing that as I'm working away at the Higgins uh, end of the game thing, which this is just, it's ridiculous how many you need. Um, so yeah, so I'm still chugging away at that. So I will return when it is time for the fireside. Okay, we are now waiting for Gail's fireside to start. About like 10 seconds or so. Um, for a house for Huss and Tuss, I believe this is what we're doing. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming. As we all know, Portia is an open, inclusive place. Anyone who wants to join us, as long as the conditions are met, will be very welcome to do so. It's not possible for everyone to be the best or brightest or, in some cases, anywhere near close <laughs> to either. <laughs> Nevertheless, we are all valued members of the community. We all work hard and support each other whenever possible. That's the true meaning of being a portion. Some people may remember us and us as crooks, vandals, extortionists, fraudsters, liars, schemers, mm -hmm. no goodniks, poor hygienists, among other things. Today, however, we think of them not as all those other things, but as <laughs> chili makers. He really knows how to sell them. Portia is a city of second chances, and we are a people of forgiveness, not of grudge. And how could we hold a grudge against two young men who even wanted to do a surprise chili cookout for the town in light of Huss and Tuss's recent good behavior on behalf of the mayor's office of Portia, I hereby officially welcome Huss and Tuss as citizens of Portia. They fit in so well. As a welcome gift, mm -hmm. we intend to have their old burned down house renovated and rebuilt by the A&G Construction Company, <laughs> overseen by none other than our very own Higgins. In addition, us and Tuss will be given jobs down by the harbor to assist with cargo and trade so that they may make an honest living. As good citizens of Portia, please make Huss and Tuss feel as welcome as any other citizen, and please help them in any way you can. That concludes tonight's fireside chat. Good night, everyone. Okay. Oh, my. Yes, yes. The blood for Higgins. Bandits, lowest the low. <laughs> they all have something to say about Logan, and it, some of them are really funny. <sighs> More new neighbors. I really love how bustling our town is becoming. It's so sad what's happened with those two. Hey. Get the people who are walking away. 
we're still looking into how the sausage bag could have been so damaging. We're currently ruling it a critical hit. <laughs> you know, I'm actually kind of proud of these two. They've come a long way. We didn't find the bandit, Logan. But we did shine a light on a situation that needed attention. Okay. I'm gonna go to Mars over here because he's going in his house. These guys, eh? So, just so long as we keep them away from the children. Okay. Um, we probably aren't gonna be able to get everyone. There's Martha. These two guys are all right. They've been coming by my shop to help lately. I didn't know the Huss and Tuss brothers were living like that. I would have been. Mm, whoops! Hit a button. I think this person is already in their bed. No, this is this should be next door, actually. Yeah. I think next door is um, Mr. Isaac. I kind of think that's who's next door. Where am I looking? It's this way. Oh, it's actually the, the round table. <laughs> Oh, Jinko has more citizens means more customers, huh? <laughs> Sandrock Yagmo sausage. If I had a source for that stuff, I'd keep it a secret too. Night doesn't hit someone who isn't fighting back. Perhaps I need to teach the Civil Corps a thing or two about honor. Yeah. The next thing we're waiting for is Higgins at our door. So I will return when he is there. Okay, well, we got a letter in the mail that says, Dear Lexi Hopals, well, a few things you might have missed at the fireside. We decided to take in Huss and Tusk Brothers as an official member of the Porsche family and give them jobs by the harbor. We decided to fix up the old house and give it to them. P.S. We gave the job we're building the house to Higgins. So it's just a summary. He was not at the door this morning. Oh, here's from Higgins. Um, Here are some leftover. Oh, so he's actually sending us stuff. I was hoping that was going to be a letter from him. Thank you. Thank you. Um... There is a mission, I thought. Oh, it's a present for Lucy. Okay, we'll go get this really quick. I apologize this episode is getting to be so long. Um, oh, you want to play? No, we're not playing. Um, it's her birthday today. Ah, the Huss and Tuss brothers. Trap. Ah, uh, hey. yeah. I just want to give you a present. You've really made this birthday. Yeah. Um... Probably uh, Toby. Okay, I need to stop carrying this above my head. We just won the rankings. Who am I looking for? Hi! Uh, ever since you showed me learning stuff is good for adventures, I've been getting really good grades. Miss Lucy said I've turned into a genius. <laughs> That's good news. Speaking of Lucy, I haven't seen her around much. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe that's my fault. Last week, me and Jack were playing around the fountain, and we accidentally splashed Miss Lucy. Drenched her from head to toe. So, she's sick and staying at home all day. So she was sick the week before. Can you make a furry scarf for me? I want to give it to Miss Lucy as an apology gift. No problem. Nice. Please hurry. I said the way he goes like, no. Nice. <laughs> we'll do this really quick. <gasps> Gotta go buy my daily. Uh... Can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Just trying to chip away at what I need for Higgins last gift or last mission. Excuse me. I'm hoping I get to get there. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We'll make a scarf. I mean, we did it. We're doing pretty good. And, uh, we're up to 23 or 30. We need 90. 90. 90. And this isn't even like an actual commission. Like this is not even a mission mission. This is a side story. 
Imagine what the airship in or in Sandrock would be if it were in Portia right now. It's too easy. Huh. Like this is a grind. Like this game is not for like the weird, like the weak and the weary. It's like you got to be willing to grind this out. Like. I'm taking the cheapy way out because I bought it all because I have a lot of money that is just sitting there. I should expand my yard. I have more than enough for it. But I'm just like chipping away and chipping away and chipping away at it. Like very slowly but surely I am chipping away at it. I have everything. It's just the uh, waterproof uh, cloth. So hopefully that will be like my final mission. I just want to turn in this Lucy scarf. I'll get a commission in the meantime. And then probably the next thing we should have is tomorrow morning Higgins at our house. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Yeah, they're starting to get really difficult ones. I've already done this one. I'm not doing it again. Just like I'm not doing that again. We are just doing easy things. Like I've had that five, five cooking sets three times already and I'm not doing it again. Huh. It's just becoming a big nope. Okay, we're gonna go turn this in to Toby and then I will end it here for now. That's commission. Nope. Like, is it going to allow me in? This isn't like suspicious or anything. This feels so soft and warm. I think Miss Lucy will like it. But thanks so much. But I also want to add uh, something extra. Can you collect some paper flowers and ropes? I want this present to be special. I think it's good enough already. Oh, come on. Know how girls are and they like stuff to be pretty i made this mistake once already at dolly's birthday this year cool. okay well, i can't wait to give it to miss lucy okay we'll go do this really quick i probably have them both i may need to make a rope but that's really quick who am i looking for there's someone here is it polly it is polly us and Tuss have been sleeping on benches rather than resorting to their old life of crime. That's pretty manly. I think they deserve a reward. Hello. I did get a couple more lines from, um, um, Mason. I got to under the point. I think we got the ones that are actually about people. He gave me one that was about the Gieglers. And the other one, I don't even remember. It was just a kind of a throwaway line. So I think we've gotten the important ones about people. I will again check the wiki to make sure that I'm not missing an important one. But I kind of don't, I have two. Am I that stupid? Rope. I were a rope, where would I be? Okay. Now we'll go turn this in and then I will end my day. Hopefully. I don't know. I, he might want something else. I don't know. <laughs> and there was like a whole update where it seemed like it really just added a bunch of Lucy stuff. Because she was a forgotten about person. Wow. I'm going to wrap it up right away. Nice. Looks perfect, huh? Cool. Tell me what she says. Well, I... Uh, What's wrong? Can you go with me? Oh. <laughs> you lost your nerve, Toby. Sure, I can go with you. Thanks. I'll come to see you later. Okay, so it'll probably be tomorrow. Alrighty, and with that, I am going to go back to skipping days. Yay! As a person who doesn't like to play games like this, this is really driving me crazy. It really is, because uh, I, I do not like to skip days like this at all. 
So it's really bothering me. But anyways, I shall return. Gift now. She must be in the school. Okay. Still no, um... Oh, we need to go renew our RV. Okay. Still nothing from Higgins. I was really hoping there'd be a Higgins here and not a Toby. I was really hoping for that. This this mission actually seems a little too early because I it seems like it's supposed to I mean, well no, it was a get well present. But it just seems like it's a little it should be more coinciding with her birthday, which is like the seventh. Hello guys. Uh what's this? Uh Miss Lucy? This This is for This is a gift Toby got for you, Lucy. Really? This is for me? Toby, thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. It was me who made you sick. Oh, I know it was an accident, Toby. Thank you for worrying about me. I'm really so happy to see what a good student you've become. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, and I'm going back to my skipping days to wait for and finally have a Higgins come to my house. It's actually getting very frustrating at this point, but I'll be- No, I'm not lost. <laughs> I'm here to ask you. What I'm here to ask you is... The thing... The thing that... Needs to be asked is... What can I do for you, Higgins? Wow, your voice has changed there, Higgins. I his mouth move. Oh, don't act so smug! Obviously, I need your help on the Huss and Huss house. Otherwise, why would I be here, huh? Uh, great. I've always wanted to work together with you on something. Well, don't get used to it. I mean, I just kind of bit off more than I could chew this time. And I had a lot of other things going on. And I sort of took this one without thinking too much about it. And the other builders are so lousy anyway. I pretty much had to ask you by default. So, you can see it's not a big deal or anything. This is a one-time thing. I mean, mm -hmm. probably it is. He has a hard time asking for help. I accept your invitation. All right, then. Here is a list of everything we'll need. Don't keep me waiting. By the way, Whoever's half of the job is better is the new undisputed <laughs> best builder of all time. Okay, bye! Sure. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is not even the one that I am currently working on. This is another one. This is how diff difficult this game is. Okay, we'll, uh, yeah, we've reached a point where we're out. Wow. Okay, I'll have to go do another batch of that. Oh, <sighs> okay. And we're gonna be out of tempering, tempering liquid. Okay, this actually just might be, um, this might be the end of it. Cause I don't think, I, I can't see how we're gonna be able to get that much tempering liquid. Tempering Q. Right? Yeah, I have no idea how we're going to be able to get that much tempering liquid. I mean... That's 25 tempering liquid that I need. Um... Yeah, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. This one I did not research at all because I've actually never done this mission before. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get a bunch of tempering liquid. So I shall return. Okay, well, I made a decision. I went to the Civil Corps and I, or I think $7,000 commissioned them to do uh, one of the floors of the collapsed wasteland to get 27 
of the tempering liquids. So decisions were made. It was $7,000. I will be very mad if seriously, I want to shoot this guy. I spent $200 to go in here for him to go outside. Higgins. Let's see. Hmm. That seems to be everything. I guess you worked hard to get these. Not that I didn't work hard or anything. But thanks. We'll unveil the house soon. Keep an eye on your mailbox. Okay. That did not make up for my $7,000. But on the plus side, I am almost done with the, uh... All the... Uh, waterproof cloth. Almost done. I need 19 more. I put in two more orders of this. So at least for that one, I will be ready. I do think I've done... I think I said last time I don't... I never did this mission before. I think I have. It's just it was so long ago that I don't remember it being this much of a building. It's just like, wow. This mission alone was harder than the final mission of Sandra. I'll come back tomorrow for Lucy's party and hopefully we'll have something from Higgins. I, I think Higgins is going to be a couple days. Alrighty, it is finally time for Lucy's party. Just as a general warning, you don't get a mission come up for this at all. It's just a circle here. Uh, yeah. I was a little surprised by that, actually. Oh, how sweet. Thanks for doing all this. Molly told me it was you who organized everything. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. I will never forget everyone's kindness today. This was the best birthday ever. I gave her for a present a, uh, Hi. a knife that she likes this small dagger. That's what she got. It was 36 points. Okay, with that, I am back to waiting for more Higgins. <laughs> This was like the longest waiting game right now this day. I'm like, I don't know what to do. All right, so I will return on this very rainy day in Portia. All right, so I woke up this morning, which is three days later, I think. Um, Gus and I are planning, I got a letter from Albert. Gus and I are planning to show off the new Huss and Tuss house tomorrow at 1500 hours. We think since you and Higgins did so much of the heavy lifting, you should be in attendance. See you there. Okay. So that's our next thing to do. Now that we are buddy buddy with Higgins, he gave us carbon fiber. I don't know how I feel about it. It's easier to be, have him be the villain than it is to be the good guy. Uh, I am noticing that's a thing. Okay. And with that, I am, I think Gus wants something. If he wants to go for a walk. He can just, no, um, I'm going to bed. I'm not, I've reached the point where I don't even do commissions anymore. Because I've already, this, I, I've lost count of how many hours this video is going on. Of me sitting here, so it needs to be over. <laughs> I want to go play Sandrock. <laughs> Only what, I think for the day I'm filming this, like three more days? Three more days? Okay. I don't know when this will actually, this will be coming out the day of. So it'll be like, no more days, no more days. So I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the water noise. I got here early. This is Huss and Tuss's new house. Well, it's still the opening, but yeah, this is it. So we got Starry Night. It's been another... It's very similar. I know, I can't think of... It's a very similar painting. But yeah, it's, this is their house. It looks very similar to um, another configuration of Audit and uh, Dawa's house. Yeah, this is where their house is. It burnt down. So we are all the way over here. So I'm just going to sit around and wait. I did notice in all my time of wanting and willing time to go faster. That unlike Sandra, 
You can slow down time, but you cannot speed up time. One is the fastest it can go. And I don't know how I feel about that. It was a feature that I never ever thought of that I would ever want until I reached a spot where I wanted time to go by faster. And now I'm like dying for the really, really fast, like we're talking multiplayer fast. That, that speed. But yeah, I've noticed that. Unless you, work, you can't go fast, yeah, you can. Because I've done that before, where you speed up time, but I can't remember what it is. But I do it so rarely when you speed up time. But anyway, I am going to just keep hanging around. I've reached the point where I just kind of go AFK <laughs> and hope for the best. <laughs> so I shall return. Alrighty, it is time for the opening ceremony. So we will go to the opening ceremony. I did um, deface their property and I cut down their tree. And no, they'll never know. Ta da! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Beats living in the streets, wouldn't you say? Plus, my boy, would you look at that? We're millionaires! No more bathing in the fountain for us! I think I got something in both my eyes. Higgins, Albert, Gus, you all are the bee's knees. A real set of cat's pajamas. We'll treasure this place every day and night. Well, you we should be thankful. Practically everything in your house was provided by the two top builders in Porsche. Let's go see. Let's go see. Oh, I'm very happy for well, them. Our work here is done. I'll say. Higgins, you just said... To what? There goes Albert. Huh? Oh, you heard that, huh? Mm -hmm. I just said we're the two top guilders in Porsche. You know, you and me, always at the Commerce Guild, gilding it up. It should come to no surprise to you that we're known as guilders. I've never heard anyone say that before. Yes, well... <laughs> a very common term. Goodbye. Okay. You do you. Um, I think the next thing we're looking for is uh, a scene with Huss and Tuss down, uh, I think here. That is what I think is next. I have to double check. I've been like making a point to keep tabs on <laughs> the way the missions progress. Like how many days do I need to sleep? So with that, I will leave you until I get a new scene. Yay! Okay, the next part of the next mission is actually not what I thought it was. We need to talk to Polly. Hello, Manly News! I'm volunteering to help work on the Huss and Tuss project. I'm making some furniture for them. It's a big job, but I'm a big man. So it looks like the shoe fits. <laughs> Do you mind asking Huss and Tuss for a list of furniture they're going to need? You're friends with them, right? I'm sure they Good. Ask for details. I want to make sure I get everything just right. Um. I already Googled it. And I already made it. Just because. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, be I'm becoming impatient. Uh, they're actually in town. Good. I don't have to fall across the. Look at all the little scenes. We're speed running at this point. We are truly speed running. Excelsior! Polly has volunteered his labor towards the decoration of our home. Ha! He's played right into our hands. I, I mean, what a nice fellow. Hmm? It would be cruel to take advantage of the old boy, wouldn't it? So we'll just take... Dark coffee table, metal storage, dream map. What else? What else? Uh, of course, Huss and I were discussing... We need a custom couch. The couch is where we cook up our schemes. I, I mean, Talisa's related... Uh, good guy stuff. So, the couch. It needs to be kind of old school, with a little bit of new school retro as well. The aesthetic should be kind of postmodern, but at the same time with a certain je ne sais quoi naivete. Boundary pushing, yet utterly vapid. Then tell him to make a car salesman plaid and throw on a radical sick turbo fan. Don't you think you're asking a bit much? Or, okay, I'll, talk, I'll do that one. What? He's 
said he would help, didn't he? Are you calling Polly a liar? Uh, well, just give him the list and see how he reacts. Tell him that we believe in him and that a true man could definitely fulfill this order. Yes, I'll do nicely. Okay, then. Arlo finally saw how brilliant we were. It's funny when you just get these random lines from for things. I will go talk to Polly again. What the? Postmodern? I'll show them postmodern. You try to help people out, but you give them an inch and they take a mile. However, my policy has always been no job too small, no challenge too great. Failing to adhere to my own philosophy is unmanly as all heck. Tell those Weasley brothers they will have their couch. Or my name isn't Polly the Furniture Guy. Ugh. A true man is not afraid to ask for help in the face of such a daunting task. Can you help me finish the other furniture they asked for? I'll pay you. Um, you're volunteering? I don't need to be paid. How delightfully manly of you. Real recognizes real. <laughs> Your help should give me the time to focus all of my manliness into this couch. You have my thanks. Excellent work and perfect timing. I was just getting ready to take over the couch of supreme manliness, as I call it. Let's head over. They're going to love the way it looks. I guarantee it. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Thank you, Wiki. And all the data miners. Thank you. That was like magical. Ah, no job too small, no challenge too great. Okay. Well, there we go. They have a decorated thing. I've always wondered what this looks like. Now I know. That is a hideous couch, but at the same time, kind of cool. Okay, I think we have one more mission for them, and then it should be Higgins' friendship mission. So... I'm going to go head back to town and get a commission and probably go to bed. I am not participating in the land run. I do miss the land run in Sand Rock, though. I wish there was another racing type thing like this. And you got the sand sledding, but you know, like this is a horse race. But anyways, I shall return. Alrighty. Um, we had to turn into commission and I saw there's a mission which will be the next Huss and Tuss thing, which is, I believe, to throw a party. I'm going to first turn in my commission to Antoine over here. Hello, Hello sir. Okay. Got we got to maintain our lead. I did learn something. That if you have this bit, the special... Uh, giant seed apple tree, you continue to get king apples. So hope that your special seed is an apple tree, I guess. Hey, we just want to thank you again for helping us out so much. You, Polly, and Higgins really make a swell team. We've got a new job, and it looks like everything's coming up to us, and to a lesser extent, us. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm happy, you're happy. Say, while I've got you, Huss and I have been trying to organize a party at our house. But it's proving to be a bit difficult seeing as we're new to this whole being nice thing. Uh, care to impart some of your wisdom? I uh, need a banquet table is needed. A large table that seats multiple people. Yeah, we were going to have everyone eat out of dog balls <laughs> on the floor, but a banquet table? It's just crazy enough to work. How are we going to get a table like that on such short notice, though? You can buy one at South Block, or you can get one custom made from Polly. All right, let me just write that down. Polly. Polly. Is that with one H or two? <laughs> uh, Lexi, our discussion is the most enlightening. Now, if you will excuse me, there's much work to be done. I will, I will see you at the party. We've got real jobs now as honorary guard members of the Civil Corps. Okay, so I think tomorrow, um, I have a feeling we're going to probably get them a banquet table, but I don't really remember this. I've only done this, like, I think once. 
it was a really long time ago. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to bed. So I will see you when I have the next thing. All right, I just woke up and he's literally here. Hey, Lexi, can you help me? What's up? Tuss promoted me to head letter giver outer guy. Only problem is, I don't know where everyone lives. Can you help me deliver some of these letters? Uh, I'm afraid doing so would undermine the title of <laughs> head letter giver outer guy. Yeah, thanks. There are only a few more. Thanks again. Okay. Heavens to kittens! A party! My programming actually makes it impossible for me to decline! See you- Interesting. Oh, I did not mean this horse. From Urso! Why'd I call that a horse? It's a pig. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I've been playing this too long. Um, and this, and that's with me dividing the day up. Huh? My diagnosis, an invitation. Are you having a party? Huss and Huss are having a party at their new house. Well, that sounds wonderful. I suppose I could hang up the stethoscope for a bit and let loose. You let loose, sir. Nine out of ten doctors recommend sleeping in a nice bed with a roof over your head. One out of ten doctors... Mm -hmm. Well, we don't talk about that guy. That's funny. I always find those statistics funny when they're like, nine out of ten, eight out of ten doctors, eight out of ten this. It's like, well, what about the one or the two? Hey. Nope. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. I don't really want my daughters anywhere near those creeps. But one time, tr Tuss tried to sell Dolly an invisible pony. That's all in the past. You should come. Ah, uh, well, I suppose everyone deserves a second chance. All right, then see you there. Paula came to me and bragged about his latest furniture creation. I don't really see what he, why he feels the need to beat his chest about every little accomplishment of his. I guess he feels intimidated by manliness. <laughs> so we're going to just build houses for every vagrant that wanders into Portia now, huh? You need to meet a guy named Cooper. And Sandrock. Where am I going? I'm going to the harbor. I know they eventually get a job in the harbor. I swore I just saw an, a mysterious man there. Like walking right here. I swore I just saw his silhouette. You gave out all the invitations? Wait, there's one more. It's for you. We will mail it to you before the party. <laughs> Polly's couch is wicked. It really ties the room together. Uh, that's what's so stupid is we'll mail you the invitation before the party. Well, I'm right here. You can actually just give it to me, dude. That's funny. Okay, well, I will. Uh, I'm going to go to bed and um, we will pick this back up at a party. Probably that is my guess. I believe um, I do kind of think the party is the last mission in here, and then it should be Higgins. I really think that's what I remember. I will, I will have the wiki, and I will figure it out, but I kind of think that was the thing. So I shall return, and there's a cute dog. Hello. We'll say hi to you. Yeah, I've reached a point where the only people I say hi to are the animals. If this were like real life, I think Gus would have divorced me by right now. <laughs> Every once in a while wakes up. Do you want to do this? No. Do you want to do this? No. <laughs> oh, he just don't give me money. Yeah, like no. Actually, what does he want? I'm curious. 
Oh, I can't see it on here. Oh, okay. I actually like this one. This is actually my favorite wallpaper. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? I still want the magic wand that he uses. Oh, you're keeping it the same. Thank you. He knows this is my favorite. Well, I've since I've continued for whatever reason, I'll see if there's something in the mail. Ooh, there is. Like it stops me from having to pause it one more time. From Town Hall. Oh, this is the Autumn Festival. Okay, I thought it was something. But Huss and Tuss. And today is the Hulu's birthday. I'm I'm not bothering. I for a while was acknowledging birthdays and I just this day already I've been sitting here doing this for five hours. And yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> getting tired of the game at right this point. So yeah, I will return with something fun. Alright, so I woke up a couple days later, and now we have a letter from T Tuss. Right? It was, was Tuss or Huss. Tuss, okay. Greetings, sir or madam. My brother and I are hosting a dinner party to thank all the lovely citizens of Portia for bringing us into the to, into their fine community. This invitation grants the recipient entry and a plus one, so don't lose it. I mean, we'll probably let you in anyway, but let's just keep Let's try to keep things official, all right? It'll be five o'clock tomorrow at our new house on the Bassanio Heights. Don't be late. Okay. So, I will be back tomorrow at around, what was it, five o'clock? I think it was five o'clock. I shall return. God, that means you can't come in until the party is ready. <laughs> Sorry, I arrived here early. That's in the party. I also want anyone in. I'm supposed to repeat until the party start. It actually kicks us out. Thus made me head your garden guy. That means you can't come in until the party is ready. That's also not what he says. Okay. I was just hanging out here. I was going to probably go fishing. And how your bet came in, I thought was funny. So I'll be back. <laughs> it is almost time for the party to start. Um, after this, there is one more mission. I should be able to get it right after the party, like the next day, but like right after the party, essentially. So let's get the party started, eh? I didn't have to give I guess he's my plus one. I say I didn't give Gust an invitation. Why is everyone coming up to you? Don't they know that I was in charge of this project? They're not even paying attention to those two jerks we built it for. Oh, I see how it is. You're just trying to prove that you're better at parties than me. Mm -hmm. Allow me to show you how wrong you really are. <laughs> Gust asked me not to speak with him outside of work. Uh, I can teach you how to make friends with people. <laughs> Laugh at him now. You! So you do know more than you let on! Spill the beans! If you know what's good for you! Hmm. To be a good friend, you need to... Uh, help people, even if it's a lot of work. Open up, listen to people. It's really any of those. I'll say this one. Work? For free? What kind of friend wants to make you work for free? That was like the most fitting for him, I think. When you help people, they will like you more, and they may help you in return. Hmm. hmm. So, it's not just about parties. It's about general friend-making skills. Being here is meaningless, then. I'm going home to train, and soon I will have more friends than you can count. I'll have far more friends than you anyway! 
Okay. And I think that was it. So I guess we will... I'm gonna go home, go to bed, and see if it works like the wiki says it does. It says that we should be able to approach them when they're working at the harbor and start another mission, which then, after completing it, we'll start the Higgins one that I want. <laughs> I have all the stuff for my inventory. So we will see if this is true. I hope it's true. It's saying that this, this one should start the next day and then like two days after that will be the Higgins one, which like I said, I already have everything ready for. I just need the mission. Uh, horse. Woo. I had earlier, um, one of the first, like, true bugs in this game. Um, I had a commission. Well, um, no, actually, I can't say that. Uh, because I had the whole incident with, um, <laughs> with Emily's mission where we were like literally walking in space. They are not here. The wiki is wrong. Okay. We're supposed to make them a scale. Interesting. And why well, I'm not gonna be able to see them on there. Yeah, but I was, I had a, a a mission for May and I could not she was not interactable with it was like the first like that type of book I guess I should say where she was fully you could not turn into her you could not talk in, talk to her or anything okay so the wiki lied then I will I guess wait for it to finally show up then it said on the wiki you just are supposed to go be able to approach them and after the party. Well, I'll go research it really quick and then if, you'll see me when I have the next scene. Okay, so it is now the next day and there is a circle in the harbor. So we will go to the harbor, get this mission from them to start getting... Uh, the final mission in essentially and there's probably more that I'm not getting this is like the big ones that they added that was part of the Higgins arc I'm sure there are side missions that I've missed um you know it is what it is Working hard or hardly working, am I right? <laughs> we are hardly working. Uh -huh. Quiet, you. Are you carrying goods? Well, that is part of the job, but don't worry about us. A bit of back-breaking labor beats living on the streets any day. What's more, the foreign trade of Portia has been booming as of late. Thanks, of course, to yours truly. I carry all the cargo and Tusk supervises. Okay, good luck, you two. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go turn in my apple. Even though this is the year Emily is gonna win. But I will still turn in my apple. I am curious though. Okay, so now we are waiting for Gail to show up at our workshop in a couple of days. Um, I'm not going to really participate. I will just submit my apple. Hi, Mr. Isaac. I'll go empty my pockets then.
I don't think there's any special scene of Emily for this. We got another one of these from Ak. I'm not even submitting anything to that. Actually, I will. I'll submit a bunch of um, fish. Because I've got plenty of fish. That is for true. Um, you can get some of those. You can get some of these. Clean it out. Clear it out. I don't like how you always have to look for this. Fine, that works for me. I would like to submit this. Okay, tis been submitted. Oh my, yeah. Pump Princess Pumpkin's gonna win. Okay. Well, she wins. I bet I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, I hope I haven't caught you at a bad time. Okay, we got Gail at our doorstep. What is it? Profits in the foreign trade department have doubled since Huss and Tuss started working at the harbor. Isn't that a good thing? Oh, yes. I told you that part in the wrong context for some reason. <laughs> Silly me. <clears throat> I thought it was a good thing too, until I received complaints from other cities saying that they paid full price for half empty boxes of goods. Ah, uh, no wonder. We can give them their money back, but it won't be easy to recover our damaged reputation. I'm commissioning a cargo scale to be used in all foreign trade from now on this way. Everyone will know they're getting what they paid for. Are you up to the task? Sure thing. Great. Come to me when you're done. Okay. I don't know what this entails. I don't remember. I'm assuming it's not going to be that hard and I can probably get it done really quickly. If not, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh -huh. Over here. I will, what I will say is, like, the one thing I am impressed with being that this was all stuff that was added very late uh, in the development process is um, how much of it is voiced. I was not, that still surprises me how much is actually voiced. Oh, I, I, I literally, okay. Um, yeah, that always is surprising to me. Uh, so I hope they, I hope this is something that they carry over to Sandrock, is keeping these extra little missions voiced, because it is nice. Oh, it's got two hours. Um, it is noi noise, <laughs> it's noise. Um, it is nice having them voiced. Um, that's why, to me, it always felt like the third act was a little rushed, just because nothing was voiced. Um, so, I, like, I hope with the full release, which will be today, um, not for me in real life, but for you today. <laughs> um, I hope that's something that they continue, is the uh, adding a lot of voice to things. It, it, it is a nice thing to not have to read it all. I, I happened, happened to have one of those made already. Kids today have it too easy. Nobody ever built a house for me. <laughs> this <laughs> might surprise you, but I used to be quite the party animal. These days, however, I find the breakneck pace of Cross 5 to be all the partying I need. Care for a game? I would yeah, if I you understood just it. missed it. Higgins and I just played the most splendid game of Cross 5 I've played in a long time. 
quite the wit, that man. I'm surprised he never came out to play sooner. Oh, he was a chatty, a chatty Kathy. <laughs> to steal a, a chi thing. <laughs> That whole chi dialogue, though, does it, that makes me giggle. Am I a, what one would call a chatty Kathy? Uh huh. Okay. Still an hour, eh? Okay. Um. I think it's in here. very last thing. Seriously? Okay. We're just gonna go turn this in and hopefully the scale will be ready. And then I think after this it's a couple more days until the Higgins mission which I should just be able to turn in. Nope. Nope. Everyone deserves a home. It's the most basic necessity for self-actualization. The second most basic necessity is Mapo Tofu. You need to speak to Fang. I heard the party was quite fun. Perhaps I'll come up with my own kind of chili. I'll call it Jilly. Nah, that's silly. I'll just call it Chili. Mm -hmm. I should tell you, your rival, Mr. Higgins, has signed up for my defense classes. Just thought you should know. Yeah, everyone's gonna hey. have Higgins dialogue about how he's more involved now. Because what we said to him at the party has changed his mind about having friends. We will see. I don't think there's much that can change Higgins, but... Oh, they're still working? Seriously? Um, nine minutes. Okay. Yeah, so... So then, what, like, is it start that sentence over again? So I think after this, it like will tell us, port us down to the harbor, and then we will have another dialogue with Gale and them. I believe. At least the end is in sight. The end is in sight for me. I think I started filming at around eleven o'clock today, and is now four. It's almost 4.30, and yeah, I still have a lot to go. I'll be taking a break in a little while, just because I, I feel, I'm starting to feel the need, like I need to take a break and walk away from this. It's like, I need to advance faster, must go faster. <laughs> it's just, oh yeah. I think I wasted some time on Twitter. Like I've been doing like silly things to keep myself occupied, watching videos. A couple clips I messed up because um, I forgot to mute what I was watching, and it's like, oh dang it, dang it, dang it. The strangest thing happened the other day. Higgins didn't pick up a commission in the morning, so I went to go make sure he was okay. Sure enough, he was in his workshop, but you know what he said to me? He said, I'm taking the day off. Taking the day off? These are strange times we live in, friend. Strange times indeed. Well done. Let's get to the port and re-educate our recently rehabilitated friends. Greetings, Huss. Salutations, Tuss. Really, horse? Hello there, Mayor. Come to check in on Porsche's most industrious workers, have you? But Tuss, we haven't moved any cargo at all today. Quiet, you. <clears throat> Gentlemen, in light of recent events, uh, uh. we will be providing a cargo course. scale on the docks to be used for weighing all imports and exports that move through this harbor. Understood? Oh, what the... Boo! Boo, I say! I didn't vote for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the point of the scale anyway? We've been getting results, Mayor. Profits are up, 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 I say. We've been over this. Uh, 
tell him a better way to make money. Do you guys want to know a better way of making money? Put even less cargo in the boxes? But that got us caught already. The best way to make money is to do business with integrity. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> if you keep scamming people, no one will do business here anymore. If you use the scale, people will trust you. And then you'll get even more customers. His laugh there had like a very Yan-esque quality to it. Is that the reason none of our other scams work? Scam? We were simply doing our part to maximize profits for the good people of Portia. Our motivations were noble. These short-term gains have damaged Portia's reputation. The only way to make a long-term profit is to earn the trust of the people by continuing to do good work. Long-term profits, eh? Hmm, yes. We put in long hours, we show up on time, we do everything the customers ask us to. We get them exactly the product they're looking for. Then they trust us, and we get us more customers. More customers means more goals. It's the greatest scam of them all. The greatest scam of them all. I'm not quite sure what I just witnessed. <laughs> but good job. Okay. And with that, we are now waiting for a Higgins. I think we either have to see him. He'll be at our door one in a couple days, or... We had to go meet him at the harbor. Either way, I have, I believe, everything he wants done already. So I will leave for now and hopefully have a Higgins at my door very soon. Hey to you, rival. In recent days, I have not only maintained a respectable level of output for my workshop, but I have also managed to personally affect every citizen in Porsche's lives in a positive manner. Okay, so I woke up today. This is two days later, and I have Higgins here. At least, that's what I planned to say when this all started. Listen, I... I mean, oh, sometimes... I was jerk, sorry. Sometimes you were a jerk, too. But... I guess maybe I was the bigger jerk. His voice actor does like the longest pauses and it always makes me think he's done. I thought maybe if I could outperform you around town, maybe I could make you understand the pain I was feeling from being second best at the only thing I cared about. Ugh, I'm not good at all this mushy stuff. Listen, I'm only going to say this once, so you'd better not forget it, okay? You're... Mm -hmm. Actually, a really good person! Ugh. Words are like fire on my tongue. No matter how mean I was to you, you kept coming back to hang out with me. You still wanted to be my friend. I couldn't figure it out. I kind of just assumed all people were bad. I'd make some snide remark and they'd storm off and abandon me. I always thought, good riddance, just go back to work. But you, you stayed. You broke my worldview, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, by emulating you and helping people out around town, I started to understand you better. It actually does feel good doing things for people. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Where was I? Oh yeah. Having other people around really balanced out my work life. I'm much happier now. And I have you to thank for it. Oh. It is nice. You are a true friend. Great. Now let's never talk about this ever again. This is really cute. So, next order of business. Us working together on the Huss and Tuss house got me thinking. We gotta build a ship. Not just any ship. The most fabulous, fabulous, bim, bam, blabulous ship. A ship that could travel anywhere. The biggest ship ever made. 
the kind of ship any one of us couldn't build alone, but one that all of us together could. A friendship! Mm -hmm. But we're not going to call it that. That's too cheesy. It would be, we'll but... something good. Kind of goes with Pathia's thing. <laughs> I'm going to round up all the other builders around Porsche. Then, get back to you with the plan. Can you go talk to Mason and ask if he'll help? I know he's retired and all, but maybe he'll listen to you. Okay. Sure. Oh, and one more thing. Just because we're friends now, doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying to beat you at everything. Watch yourself on the charts this month. He actually may beat me because I, I haven't been doing many commissions. Uh, he, he give, we get something from him probably like once a week. Let's go talk to Mason. See if he's any more important lines for uh, Sandrock. I do think we've gotten the most important ones. We had the Logan one, two Cooper ones, a uh, Hugo one, Justice. Uh, what was the, the old Sheriff BB or whatever his name was? Or B8, B3, I don't remember. I think B3. Like William something Beauregard. Hey Mason, Higgins and I are working on a big project that involves all the builders in town. Pass. Look at that. I smell that smelly that smell. The smell of milk. <sighs> I never was one for making it to church. Didn't like waking up early if I didn't have to. You do have to admire the work they do out there. Since the great scarcity, people need hope. Hard pass. Builder, you ready to get started? Look, I said no, kid. Now beat it before you really tick me off. Building? There's nothing to it. Do it for 30 years like me, and you'll be good at it, too. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Maybe we should get a letter in the mail. I was just looking over here. Look familiar, some of it? Oh. Actually, no, it doesn't. That doesn't look familiar. And the bridges, that, that actually is an artwork that isn't in Sandra. So I wonder if these are like conceptual things. And cause that would be the oasis. Sorry, if my mic voice is getting weird. Okay, this is a this is a job for the camera. Yeah, this is like a conceptual thing, I think, of Sandra, because there's the water tower. I no longer have my mouse, so I can't. So there's like the water tower. This is the oasis. Interesting. It's like a battery store? The general store? I and mean, that looks familiar. That kind of looks like by the stairs in a way. But actually, no, it doesn't. In a way, it looks like more like Grandma Vivi's. With the balcony. Very interesting. Sorry, I just noticed that right now. That's why, to me, tinfoil hat time. There has to be some tie-in somewhere in Sandrock. We probably haven't stopped in the game yet. That is my, I can guarantee you, it's not in the game. But there's going to be a tie in some way. And it's going to be like, ta-da, this is the next game. So I keep looking for that tinfoil hat moment where we get what it is. And we know what it is, the next game. There's got to be, there's got to be some of the tinfoil hat moment. Okay, we're going to go to bed and see if we get a letter. That is what we're supposed to do. Okay, we're going to see if we get the mission. This mission that um, we're to get the plan for, wait for Higgins' plan, there is no time limit on it. This is essentially like the second dragonfly. That's pretty much what this is. Um, so, from Higgins. 
I've talked to the other builder about my plan. All of them are on board. Get it? That's right. My letters have the best jokes in them. Better get used to it. Anyway, attached to several blueprints for parts of the ship. Try to get it done quickly, but don't skip out on quality. Shocking, we have it all done. Oh, nope, I'm four pigments short. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to go buy four pigments. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen to be crafting things. <laughs> Almost perfect. Ta-da! I did not mean to roll. Took you long enough. Actually, you were the second one to finish. Still, that makes me the victor! Ha! I'll let you know when it's assembled and seaworthy by mail. I want you to be on its maiden voyage. Okay. Huh? What are you doing out? Not working on the ship? Not me. I'm taking a five minute break. Of course the construction was a success. Timely, under budget, and high quality. All thanks, of course, to yours truly. Oh, and, uh, you helped out a bit, I guess. Thanks. Okay. I'll go see what commissions are. So there are still more to do. We will get a letter now waiting. Uh, we'll wait for a letter, and it will tell us when the ship is ready, and there's a cutscene. Um, so... You know what i'm doing easy things so i don't care anymore so yeah i will uh, come back for me i'm done filming for a little while but i will come back and hopefully it will be just in time for a cut scene with higgins riding the friendship that is the plan so i shall return so I woke up this morning and we have a letter from Higgins. Tomorrow is the big day. I informed everyone that the ship will be christened in the morning. See you there. So tomorrow we will get to ride the SS Friendship with Higgins. And that will be the last thing we do in this save. So, kinda cool. So I will return tomorrow and we will get the new cutscene. Supposedly it is a whole cutscene everything. I don't remember it, but that's supposedly what it is. So I, actually I'm just gonna go right to bed. There's really nothing for us to do to this day. Though I do, I should give Pinky a gift. It is Pinky and, um, Toby's birthday, but we all know. Pinky is the one that matters. <laughs> As with all games, I am more friendly with the pets than I am with anything else. Yeah, you're worth 60 points. And we're just going to go to bed. It's Sunday. And now let's get the cutscene of the friendship. I don't know if I had to go somewhere special, probably the dock, unless it brings me there. I don't remember. Ooh, it's snowy. It is so snowy. Oh, we'll get this. Thank you. And we somehow have managed to keep number one, even though I have done next to nothing. Done like maybe um, a commission every other day. Maybe. We will get the cutscene. Don't want to get hit by a bus. <laughs> the guy just face planted into the bus. Uh, where are we going? Oh, everyone's here. Here by Chris and the SS Friendship. Mm. 
Very nice. Oh, there's the scale. <laughs> um, so yeah, with that, I am just going to end the episode. I did everything I wanted to do. Uh, we got the SS Friendship. We did all the Higgins missions. Uh, we did all the Higgins missions. We did all the Huss and Tuss missions. We did all of Mason's missions. We got all the Sandrock tie-ins. We got everything. Was it the way I wanted to do it? No, it wasn't, unfortunately. But we got there eventually. I was I I was not expecting Sandrock to have as much content as it did. And that really screwed things up. I mean, great, I'm glad happy we have it, but that really screwed things up with this series because I was assuming they weren't going to do anything until the full release. And then all of a sudden they're like, here's an update, everyone. It was like, oh, this is awesome, but... um. I, I just also wasn't expecting it to go to Act 3, like the full of Act 3. I was expecting it to stop right around Mama Tree. So that like the whole that was a lot of content for Sandrock. So yeah, the, the series didn't get to the ending. It probably should have. But I just wanted to finish it, finish all the things, finish the museum, finish. I, though I can go buy this yard over here. I have enough money. So I guess we'll do this really quick just to say I... Upgraded the yard to the fullest extent. This is as big as it can get. Now, the only thing we really didn't get to do was to tame the mounts. I never got around to that. I was getting ready to start it uh, to get the the uh, normal. What are those called? My mind's a blank. These guys, one of them colorful llamas and then the white one the cotton whatever llama i was gonna try to get one of each but we never never did get around to it but anyway so i hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at porsche uh uh this will be yeah this is the last episode this is the second series i ever filmed it went well it was nice to revisit porsche um overall porsche is a wonderful game um, Sandrock, I think overall is better. Are there things that I wish would carry over to Sandrock? Yes. Um, but on the whole, Sandrock was such a huge step forward for them that like, they're, they're really, they're comparable, but they're also not because this is its own thing altogether and Sandrock's its own thing together. Um, do I miss, like, I mean, I miss how this thing worked how it keeps your spot. I do miss that. I don't miss having to have things in my inventory. I'm, but I miss more from Sandrock. Like that's actually the truth is I miss more of how Sandrock works. Like when I go play this game, Sandrock, like the things you do in Sandrock, I always come here and be like, oh yeah, I'm not in Sandrock. Whereas there's very rarely when I'm in Porsche and I say, oh, I wish I were in Porsche. There's very rare, but it's still a beautiful game. It's a wonderful game. It's just, they took a big step forward with Sandra. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this series. I will be back soon with new Sandra content. Um, we'll be starting all over. Whole new save. I'm very excited. This should be out on the day that the game comes out. So I hope everyone enjoys playing my time at Sandrock today. So take care of yourselves and... See you soon and bye for now.